Hey guys, it's Kat. So some of you know that I make stop motion music videos for some of my own songs. I wish I had the words to say I love you in a million ways. And lately some of my friends have been asking me to make videos for their songs. And so I kind of wanted to show you a behind the scenes process of what goes into making a stop motion music video. After doing a lot of makeshift DIY stop motion stuff on my desk using iPhone holders and stands and mic stands and all sorts of things, I decided this year to create a little stop motion workstation and so I built one at a friend's house. One's gonna go in like this. Hmm? Yeah, perfect. Early birthday present. Uh, thank you. <laughs> this is so exciting. This means I can make stop motion videos so much faster. Here it is. Okay. So what I've done here, if you can see, if you can zoom in, is I have created a little workstation and painted it all white on the inside so it'll reflect light. If you see under here, I have attached LED lights with using hot glue and then put parchment paper underneath to make a little soft box and create some diffusion. Cool. Okay, it's gonna get bright. I'm gonna turn on the light. So, here we go. Yeah. Let there be light! Okay, this is so awesome. One of the problems I was having with doing stop motion at my desk was that I needed daylight and when clouds come over the light would change, all sorts of things would change and so I tried to make the light as consistent as possible by bringing in LED lights. There's a lot of reflection which is why I put the diffuser in there, parchment paper in, as you can see. But it's really nice to have all this light in here that I can play with and it means I can make stop motion music videos at midnight. Let's see if you put if you go in here. Like so. Here we go. Hello. Cool. So some little tips and tricks that I've learned from doing a few stop motion videos now is to not try and get too fancy. There have definitely been takes in the past where I've try tried to do too much and the eye can only take in so much information. So I would say if you're gonna try stop motion, try and keep it really simple. Um, start simple first because there have been a few times when I've spent hours doing something that I thought was gonna look so cool. And then I looked at it and I'm like, whoa, it's too tiring on the eye. It's nice to make things up with different textures and so you know, I use a lot of paper and I create a lot of origami which creates a lot of 3D effects. It's fun to bring in things like umbrellas, create some 3D effects. I think that's it for me. I think that's... If you have any more questions about stop motion or if there's anything that you'd like to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, um, please go and check out the stop motion music videos I've made, especially this one. This Raining Jane from me to you. They've just released a record and they're on tour with Jason Mraz right now. So. Go check them out, go check out their album, buy their record, go support them, and go check out this full music video. Have a great week. Bye.